نجم السهرة سو دكتور هاني دكتور هاني هيز وي تو وي ار فيري براود اند وي ار فيري براود اند فيري جلاد هافينغ دكتور هاني ويز اس ان ان ذيس تريب هي از از امباسادور فور انسباير بروجرام اند هي از وان اوف ذا بيج سبورترز فور انسباير اند هي بيليفز ان ذا ميشن اوف انسباير اند ذيس از واي وي فيل فيري هابي اند جلاد تو انفايت هيم تو جوين سام جروبس فور تريبس يو ار لاكي جايز هافينغ Him in this trip, and inshallah, he will be joining part of the second trip of uh, Turkey. Inshallah, Bismillah, Doctor. Alhamdulillah, wa sallam ala Rasulullah. I thank Allah of being with you, and I thank you of letting me to be with you. We are on a living journey of living. We live to live, and we live to live. Whenever we leave, we start another life. When we start another life, we leave it again to live a third life. None of us will be dead because it's our life is a process of transformation from living above to live under, to live on, to live forever in the life to come. It's all the journey of the man in the journey of living and living. We cannot live without living and we cannot live without living. And this is the message that we need to have at the back of our mind today. You are leaving the kids, but we need to live their life or to imagine that can we live their life? Who is stronger, us or them? The people who have been displaced in the middle of the snow or water, rainy season, intent on the young Syrian girl said my dream on 2022 is to have a new tent. That's nothing more than that. Have a new tent. Can you imagine? We we'll look for a house, we we'll look for a mansion, we we'll look for a car. We look for all these facilities. But the young girl's dream is just, I want to have a tent. This is her life. She's living this life, but she will live this life to live another life. The young boy who said, I'm going to complain to Allah about you. You, which is me. He said, I'm not going to die without complaining to Allah. How did you lift me behind? How did you forget about me? A young boy, it's been recorded. It's recorded audio and visual. And said, I am going to tell Allah. And I will Rabbana. I will tell him and complain about you to him. He's leaving to live a life in the, between the hands of Allah to complain about how did we let him down. The children of the sea, the children of the boats, to see them every day, whether they are Syrian or Afghani or Arabs or Asian, Pakistani, they left their homeland aiming for a life to live but they live, actually they left this life to live with Allah. A continuous process of living and leaving. This is what you have to realize. You know how long our life on earth is? Nuh السلام, lived for 1,000 years. 1,000 years is one day before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because a day before Allah is 1,000 years what we count. Another day before Allah is 50,000 years. In the other estimation, the life of Nuh is one in 50 of the whole day, but nearly 25 minutes. So Nuh lived for 25 minutes. So how long is your life on earth if you live for 100 years, few seconds? or two, three minutes. 
And this how much we're going to live, how long that we're going to live on earth. We cannot imagine, we cannot, we cannot actually balance, or we cannot actually, what do you call it? Okay. <sighs> cannot compare the 25 minutes for a life forever we live. For a life forever that we're going to live. That's exactly his living to live and living to live. Our life is as short as few seconds or few minutes. Why should we waste the few minutes when through these few minutes we can get the forever life that we can live with Allah? and with the prophets, and with the good people. Don't be distracted by the money you have, the health you have, the wealth you have, the knowledge you have. All is, if it's not for God, it's vain, unfortunate. You are young. That's why I said yesterday, I am not going to die. Inshallah. I am not going to die because you are living. And because you are taking the mission forward with your energy, with your education, with your technology, with your vision, with your aspiration to inspire generations to come. Never ever underestimate what Allah has put in your heart, what Allah has put at the back of your mind, what Allah has put as treasure that we need to discover. My journey up till now lasted for 72 years. During this 72 years, most of the journey is failures, destruction of our homelands, displacement of our own people. Our own people become refugees. Our young girls and women became raped, multiple raped. But we're still living because we have to fight back Corruption, we have to fight back tyranny, we have to fight back atrocity to these nations. So we never, ever will be surrendered, even if we do not, if we do not have the resources. Because the resources is something that we can make if we believe that we have the treasure in our heart, in our soul, in our mind. This is the treasure that we need to discover. The Yemeni are my family. You see, if I can say that, if I'm not from Uyghur, I'd love to be a Ugorian. If I'm not from Bangladesh, I'd love to be Bengali. If I'm not Syrian, I'd love to be Syrian. If I'm not Yemeni, I'd love to be Yemeni, Pakistani. This is the heart of the man or the woman that can accommodate the whole of humanity. That's why all the prophets of God came to accommodate humanity in their hearts. They stood up. The young Fatah called Ibrahim, Fatah. You know how, far, how old was the Fatah is? Less than 20 years. Less than 20 years, Ibrahim. When he stood, the Karok, against the tyranny of the king, against the tyranny and the stability and the ignorance of his father, and told him, what are you worshipping, my dad? You make your God by your own hand and you worship him? It's not. Then they throw him. They prepare his fire for weeks and with a caterpillar they throw him inside it the young man he believed that the fire will not burn him and it didn't because his connection was connected to the source who can tell fire to be them or be increasing 
And during the journey in the air, the angels came to him, told him, Abraham, do you need any help? He said, no, not from you. Not whatsoever from you, angels. Allah is the helper. And Allah told the fire, Kuni bardan wa salaman ala Ibrahim. Be cool and peace for Ibrahim. And it did. And he walked out of the fire after a few days. People were shocked to see this young man coming out without any scratch on his skin. That's Ibrahim. Lady Hajar, in whom he himself led her to be in the middle of the desert of Mecca. No water, no greenery, no passenger. And when he told, she told him, she left her, he left her with her son. When she told him, is it your decision or Allah's decision? He said, it's Allah. He said, okay, Allah will never ever forget about me. And the water came from underneath the knee, the, the heel of her little baby, Ishmael. This is when you rely on the provider, on the supporter, on the savior. And my belief, my belief, my belief, inspire is just a step at the right direction, but not the journey. The journey that each and every one of us in this room will make to have every creation of God in his or her heart. Your heart could be two, three hundred grams, but accommodates eight billion people. It accommodates them. That's why our Prophet وسلم, never slept. Never slept. Like all the prophets were standing up at night the whole night being tortured, being killed, like Zakaria and Yahya and others, never gave up their mission for you. And each and every one of us, sisters and brothers, never give up because we live to live and we live to live. And our choice is when we live, we choose the life we're going to live. And when we live it, we choose the way that we're going to live our life. This is my message to you. I know that you're more educated than myself. They know better English than myself. But, and you have got better brain than my brain. I love you. <laughs> you. <laughs> As my daughter. So no, nobody can catch me, huh? You know why? Because I'm catch 22. <laughs> Are you catch 23? Catch 24? Catch 25? You know my jokes? Very silly. <laughs> Thank you. I love you all. And live to live. And decide to live your life. And decide on the way that you live your life. The decision is yours. The decision is yours, not mine. Not him, not yours. Each one of us has got the decision in his or her own hands. Don't be deceived by the I'm young. The sudden death is happening every day. I see them on my Facebook at the age of 20, 18, 19, 25, 30. Sudden death. Never. Never ever think that the angel of death is not behind us and in front of us and waiting for us. Decision is yours, is ours. The decision of living and the decision of leaving. You decide to live and you decide to live. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wisdom and your advice. Uh